Hi, welcome back to Puente Pixels. We took a break in 2019 and I became an uncle and in theory we would have been taking a break in 2020 to go and see the eclipse down in Chile. However, due to the ongoing human malware situation, we're at home and so we need to put together a Christmas display in a hurry. In order to help with this, today we're going to be building a pixel tester to test out new strings of pixels. Here we have all the components for the pixel tester laid out on the board, which will then be cut to size once everything is mounted. We have a Meanwell 350 watt 12 volt power supply. We have the smart differential receiver from pixelcontroller.com. This has a built in test mode, which will allow testing of the pixels without needing a full controller. We have some three way lever arm pixel splices which will allow us to put the pixels in and out for quick testing. We have some 10 gauge wire for connecting the power supply to the smart differential receiver. And we also have some mounting hardware. So we have some handles to pick up the pixel testers, some feet to put on the bottom and some screws and washers for mounting the power supply to the board. So now we've mounted the meanwhile power supply to the board. To do this, I made a template on a piece of paper. I punched four holes at the correct spacing corresponding to the bolts on the back of the power supply. And then I used that to mark the board. I then used an 11 64th drill to drill the four holes through the board. This is the correct size to give a four and a half millimeter hole for the M4 bolts, which is what's used to screw down the power supply. The next stage will be to mount the differential receiver. So now I've drilled three more 11 64th holes through the board to hold the uh, smart differential receiver in place. And we're going to mount this with the board through these uh, M4 25 mil or one inch bolts. We've got some spacers and some washers so that the uh, circuit board clears the wooden board. So now I've mounted the smart differential receiver to the board. I, in the end, I had to use some slightly longer bolts. So these are M4 bolts, 30 millimeters long, and I had to use some uh, other spacers to separate the board from uh, the wooden backing sheet. I've also mounted the lever arm wire connectors, and the next stage will be to crimp some connectors to wire the smart differential receiver to here. But to mount into the smart differential receiver over there, we need to use one of these uh, chock blocks. To prevent the wires pulling out, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, crimp connectors onto the end of the wire. This is 18 gauge wire and we're using what's called ferrule or boot lace uh, connectors. So for these guys, uh, what we want to do is we need to strip off an amount of wire equal to the length of the metal part so in this case that's about eight millimeters and then crimp them onto the cable so here's our wire as i say it's 18 gauge in this case and we want to take off about eight millimeters like so maybe a little bit more And then these go into the ferrules. So these are 22, these are 22 gauge ferrules. So that goes in there like that. And then we take our crimping tool And we only want to crimp the metal part of the barrel. So this goes in like this. Whoops. And there we have the crimp connector. So I'm going to repeat this for the final one. And then we'll be able to connect it up to the terminal block. So now we've connected the smart differential receiver to the terminal block. We're using brown for the 12 volt power, blue for the ground and the green yellow cable for the data. 
this matches the colors of typical pixels. So now what we can do is just go plug in our pixel string uh, into the tester. You want to make sure that this is plugged in the right way around. The pixels have a small arrow in them, which is the direction of the data flow. So we can We can just plug these into here. Like so, and we can hit the test button. And there we go. Uh, we have one of the test modes, and we can cycle through the test modes by pressing the test button. And we can turn the test mode off by holding down the test button for a few seconds. So all we need to do now is to attach the handles to the, and the feet and we are complete. So now I've mounted handles to the board and screwed them down. I've also drilled through the board uh, and mounted the feet onto the bottom of the board. The next task is to cut it down to size. So now we have the completed pixel tester after cutting the board down to size. The only things I have left to do is to get a cable clamp to secure the mains power cable. Uh, the only thing I would have done differently is possibly mount the handles a little bit further up as most of the weight is at the top of the board. But even so, I think this board is going to be a very useful pixel tester for testing in ba new batches of pixels as they come in from China to build the display. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments or questions, please leave them down below.